guys, welcome to Something's Cooking with Appa and it is extremely hot this year and I hope you guys are taking good care of yourself and drinking a lot of liquid and talking about liquid, I hope you are not drinking a lot of cold drinks or syrup based drinks because we have so many drinks that you can make which are actually good for your body as it cools your body down from within. So today I'm going to show you two variations of making arm panna which is good for your health which will cool your body down and let's look at what we're going to need to make this of course we're going to need an kacha arm which is raw mango and because this is so huge one is going to be good enough for us and sugar and jaggery i am going to make two variations so i will tell you about the rest of the ingredients when we reach to that stage so let's proceed let's see what we're going to need and how we're going to make our ampanna. So we are now going to pressure cook our mango. So you need is a pressure cooker and then you add water in that pressure cooker. But do not put your raw mango in that water. Never do that because that will take away that taste of that mango. Always put it in an another vessel which goes in your pressure cooker. And then we are going to cover the lid and wait till we hear four to five whistles and guys uh, once it cools down that is when we are going to proceed to the next step so our raw mango is pressure cooked and down to room temperature now we are simply going to remove the skin and remove the pulp from inside and this is how you can remove the pulp Our raw mango pulp is ready and as you can see I've divided it into two equal halves. The reason I've done that is because I had promised you two variations, two flavors of making ampanna. So now we are going to start with the stage one which is the traditional ampanna. And for that we are first going to add this mango, raw mango pulp in a blender. Then add our sugar followed by the jaggery. After that guys the flavors come in. So I'm going to add some saffron that's kesar, elaichi that's cardamom and a little bit of salt in here. And now we are going to blend this till the time it becomes a nice smooth puree. If you require just in case if you require add a little bit of water but not much tada our panna mix is ready and let me pour it and show it to you see this is how it looks so our arm panna mix is ready look at it it's almost like a jelly now guys you are going to store this in the refrigerator this is not what you're going to drink to drink this we are going to add some water and blend it and i will show you that later on but right now as promised i'm going to show you how to make the mint arm panna mix so let's begin with that process so for the mint arm panna mix we definitely need to add the arm panna pulp with the sugar and with the jaggery and for the flavors we're going to need some mint leaves a little bit of salt some black salt and some cumin powder and now we are going to blend this again into a very fine puree so i will show you once that puree is ready minty arm panna mix is ready and now it's time to make panna and which one should i make the traditional or the minty traditional minty traditional minty what do you guys say I just make both. So let's start with our traditional ampana. I'm going to add about 250 ml of water. Now always use chilled water and to this I'm going to add about two tablespoons of this traditional ampana mix. And now we are going to blend this. So I just poured my arm panna in my glass and the same way I made my mint arm panna as well. So I'm now I'm again confused. 
should I go with the traditional route or the minty way? Traditional, minty. I guess I'll try both. So first, I'm gonna give the traditional a try. Absolutely refreshing. This is just absolutely refreshing. And I'm now going to go in for the mint. Wow. I don't know which one is my favorite. I like them both. Why don't you make both so you can always have options? And I hope you enjoyed spending time with me guys. And please do subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.